So, uh, anyway, um, in, in speaking with uh, Kevin, Kevin and I speak almost daily. Um, here are some things we've gotten done so far. The wiring for out west and private uh, projectors in the east wing of Wings Park, that's just getting finished. Uh, the high school, fixing some gas valves, window shades, that kind of stuff. Pretty much the punch list of things that the teachers come up at the end of your checkout. Uh, uh, Bob Gilson is working on that and gotten a lot of them done. Uh, the ICN, ICN room in the middle school, uh, last week air conditioning was put in. Uh, temperature in the ICN room needs to be at a certain level because of the electronics in there and the additional heat coverage. Um, it, 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 they weren't able to keep the temperature down with the existing um, uh, cooling system. So uh, essentially a window air was put in to keep, uh, keep the temperature down where it belongs in that room. That was done last week. Uh, tuck pointers were here last over oh, the last week, I believe they got done last Friday. I saw their stuff is gone. Is that right? Yep. Uh, they um, part of the gymnasium above uh, that back wall. They were there. Um, I guess I don't know exactly where all they were at, but I know they were there working on that. Uh, roofing people are supposed to be here uh, the middle of July, which is now. Um, <laughs> and again, there's uh, Wakes Park has a spot. Cafeteria has a spot at the high school. Uh, there's one other spot at the high school that needs to be uh, uh, fixed. And I've uh, talked with um, Matt Ogle to get someone to have someone from EMC Insurance come and do an inspection of our roofs. Um, so we can look at uh, the age of the roofs, the condition of the roofs, and have a, a schedule for um, you know when when the next roof needs to be done and how soon. Uh, you know, I'd like to put need to get to uh, have a maintenance schedule. There has been one, uh, but but to the point where we can build in the let's say the middle school roof or whatever is the oldest the one that needs to be replaced, and have an actual target on what year that's going to be, so we can kind of build around because those are huge projects. Um, it's going to take so uh, quite a bit of our resources from people and on tax or whatever we uh, have available. So. I um, was hoping to get a response on whether they wanted to share by Thursday when the board book needed to be printed. And they didn't get a response, uh, whether they were interested in pursuing that at, for this next year at that time. Um, received a call on, on Saturday saying that, that uh, the, uh, they planned on putting it on their board agenda for tonight as an action item. So that then precipitated me putting it on our board agenda for an action item. Um, we would we put together a um, contract uh, you know that we had with Starmont. We took that as use as our template. I uh, put it together this weekend. It was typed up this morning. It was faxed over to uh, Lobster Valley for their board meeting tonight. Um, basically, it's 30 hours. It's not a full-time position. It's 30 hours, 75% position, 50% in the Old Line District, and 25% Lobster Valley. Um, and uh, based on what had been paid, uh, the, the salary would be for the three quarters time position would be salary twenty four thousand, and uh, <clears throat> benefits and such would uh, be about ten eleven thousand beyond that. So the total cost I'm estimating around thirty five thirty six thousand, where one third would be lots of allocating, which would be uh, twelve, and our end would be about twenty four. Um, the hope is that you approve that and Wapsie Valley approves it this evening so then we can start advertising tomorrow. <coughs> get applicants in and get them interviewed and selected as soon as possible because school is coming up quickly. We would want to get the person on board at the beginning of August. August 1st probably a starting date. And uh, <coughs> our uh, job description we have right now that we've used for Mike Cook. Uh, Mike's looked it over and it looks like a good job description. There has to be very little revising. And Lobster Valley feels like the job description would be appropriate for what they want done also. They have no one in the, this capacity there. They've kind of divvied up the responsibilities amongst people in their own district. And this would bring someone uh, as a part-time position to kind of do some things like bus inspections and uh, some light maintenance and some, some scheduling that uh, 
like I said, they're kind of getting done with other people right now. So, um, and we're also really going to what we intended to do with Mike Cook. It was back to half time, which was what we started with the Star Money a year ago. It evolved to a 20% part way through the year because it wasn't working on their end, the Star Mount Weather, to keep it going. So, um, questions? Um, and they're sharing money, um, so advantageous uh, financially for us. Uh, there's five years the state will give when you're sharing certain positions. Transportation director is one of them. Uh, Jim was superintendent at uh, West Central for two years. So that's two years of the five. Mike was last year. Transportation, now three of our five years have been utilized. Um, so we have two years um, where we're going to get extra waiting for it. It's a phase out of it's 100% first year, 80, 60, 40, 20, done. Uh, and with um, Wapsie Valley, they haven't utilized this in the past, so they, they would be coming in and getting some, some sharing dollars, additional waiting from the dollars from the state, not waiting, additional dollars from the state for a sharing agreement. 